One Love. We're here to deal with a topic, as you can see, broken mirrors, bullies, and bystanders. There's three things that we want you to walk away with today. If you can hear me, everybody say, shh. I have some artists and musicians that have traveled all the way around the world. And I have some singers that are from your school with us today, too. So when we bring people up here, just give them the respect, okay? And we're going to go through this program and hopefully take you on a journey. Can y'all give it up for my man on the keys, Showtime? Can y'all give it up for my world star hip-hop and you see Sharkeisha, right? <laughs> now let me ask you this. It's funny to y'all now, but if it was you or your little sister or somebody you love, would it be funny then? To be humiliated like that. And this guy here that you're about to see murdered 100,000 Herero and Namaqua people between 1904 and 1907. With him was a doctor who conducted experiments on these people, like animals. Then he wrote a book and he taught at a prominent university in Germany. And he taught many students. And some of his most prominent students became the very same doctors who carried out the very same experiments on innocent Jewish children at Auschwitz. But what took place before the first genocide of the 20th century, before 1904 to 1907, there was something that ran for 400 years. Who knows what I'm talking about? Now, your history books call it the transatlantic slave trade. Africans call it the Ma'afa. Can you say Ma'afa? The Ma'afa lasted 400 years. Some scholars still debate how many people were killed or displaced or enslaved. Some say as low as 10 to 15 million. Some say as high as 60 million to 100 million. But it ran for 400 years. Portugal, Spain, England, France, Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands, United States, North African countries, and Middle Eastern countries all participated. They weren't just bystanders, they participated. In this very country, after slavery was abolished, you still had segregation. That was the law. And even after segregation, I promise it's going to get better. I know it's heavy, but I promise it's going to get better. The thing we want you to understand, when you're being bullied, it feels like you are a prisoner of war. It feels like a living hell. Anybody ever felt trapped? Feel like the whole world is against you and you just can't get out like nobody loves you? It's a horrible feeling. But we're here as artists to say we do love you. And there are people who do love you. We're going to continue to show you that love. But I've asked these dancers to come out and interpret what it feels like to be bullied. What it feels like when the whole world is against you.
lights down, I want you to look at the faces of the people who took their lives as a result of bullying. I want you to think of your own family and friends. Think of yourselves, think of people you hurt, and think of people that you can help heal. Now I suspect that the bell may go off in the middle of what we're doing, but the principal said that we can continue. So if y'all are roll with us, we don't have too much longer. Is that all right? Let's do it. Lights, please. It's over now. 